What's up guys, Brian back to talk about some Star Wars information and here's when the next five movies will be released. General spoiler information about Star Wars in general, but nothing crazy about it because it's just be about the next five movies. That'd be pretty awesome. That'd be pretty cool in the next five years. EntertainmentWeekly.com article, we'll put that link in the description to definitely check it out. But below is the Disney's not quite top secret plan. Obviously these dates are subject to change and stuff can happen because it's in the next five years so we'll see when it is. But the first one is Rogue One, a Star Wars story, all that information there. But the big thing is following the foundation of the Galactic Empire, a wayward band of rebel fighters comes together to carry out a desperate mission to steal the plans for the Death Star before it can be used to enforce the Emperor's rule. Release date is December 16th of 2016. Can't wait for that one. So that's coming out in like two months. I think it's going to be a good movie. I think it's going to be cool to see that storyline of the Rebels trying to get the plans for the Death Star and everything. And December 16th is when it comes out. And I think they're trying to stick around that December launch because people will be off from school and the kids will be off from this and around the holidays and everything there too. The cast looks great. Um, some newer names, some new names, some big actors, some big actresses, some people. I don't really know who the star is. I don't know who she is. I haven't seen her before in any thing other movies like there but you know it'd be kind of cool to see how it ties in i can't wait to see the action and how the story ties into the universe i really can't get enough star wars to you know i like the walking dead and star wars and universe is there and you know the information of star wars is pretty awesome back to the death star darth vader all that stuff's coming back around you know it's a good continuation of episode between episodes four or uh, yeah, episodes three and four to see how that connection goes there too. It's going to have that feel to probably the original trilogy, which would be pretty cool. Star Wars episode eight be going to be pretty cool, starring Mark Hamill, Daisy Ridley, Oscar Isaac reportedly. December fifteenth, twenty seventeen, pushed back seven months from its original release date of May twenty seventeen. So December as well. I thought Force Awakens was great. It didn't have that feel of episode four. But, you know, the way it ended, you know, I thought it was pretty good overall. But I can't wait for them to continue with that story and see how it goes. Then it's going to be the Han Solo movie, which would be pretty cool. And it says that they don't know who it's starring yet. But on IMDb, it's um, we got the information there too. But it's how young Han Solo became the smuggler, thief, and scoundrel from Luke Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi. First encountered in the cantina at Mos Eisley. May 25th, 2018. And that is the star right there who was cast as Han Solo. Alden Iron Ironrick? Ironrick? I don't know how to say that name at all. But there you go. Han Solo. Young Han Solo. It should be pretty awesome to see that storyline of young Han Solo. So you would probably see, you know, Chewbacca with young Han Solo. And to see his story go along with Jabba the Hutt and just how he's got his start as young Han Solo and Chewbacca. Star Wars Episode 9, not much is known of course, but it's going to come out in 2019. I really want to see how they're going to end the whole series on there too. It has to be a huge storyline of there as well. You never know. They're going to try and continue it for even more movies on there too, which I think would be kind of terrible to kind of can draw it out. But, you know, I think they'll see, you know, they have to have all these other new characters come in kind of like they did in Episode 6. You know, I'm not going to see, you know, Jabba the Hutt and Ewoks and stuff like that. That. But, you know, when I think Star Wars, when I was little, you know, I was a child of the 80s, I thought, like, this was Star Wars. I thought Ewoks and C-3PO and Jabba the Hutt and this and that. But, you know, you didn't really see the whole trilogy of 4, 5, and 6 and then watch it, you know, baby Ewoks and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm, I'm interested to see where they go and they take the storyline going into episodes, you know, 8 and 9 to see how it continues in there, too. Are we going to see Lando Calrissian again? Are we going to see other things like that? Are we going to see the new little creatures and stuff like that, like Wicket or something like that, too? Not the same character but you know what i'm saying like different new characters fresh planets species things like that too or whatever so we'll see that and the last one is star wars anthology boba fett nothing is known yet besides 2020 which would be in four years reportedly so i think that would be cool because people love boba fett People love Star Wars. They love Boba Fett. You know, kind of the geekier people like Boba Fett, I think, too. So we'll have a, the movie would do great, especially in a way that we'll have his own movie in Star Because he didn't really do much in Episode 6, 5, and 6. You know, there he is as the young child when his, di when his dad dies, uh, Jenga Fett. And, you know, in the Episode 2. So we would see how he became the young Boba Fett 
into the bounty hunter that became there too. So I think that would pour, the story would kind of pick up like that as well. So I think that would be kind of cool to see that. You want to see the secondary characters kind of get their own storyline and to fill in the gaps. So you're going to have a Boba Fett movie and a standalone Han Solo movie, which I think would be great. I think that would be a great way of doing it on the uh, Star Wars universe too. Not continuation of stories, but go off in different tangents. So that goes well too. So if all goes well, going to the plan, we'll get five Star Wars films in four years after getting only seven Star Wars films over 38 years. Not bad. I think that's pretty damn great. So five movies in four years. That's pretty damn awesome. I can't wait for there too, guys. So that's what we got for you guys. Laugh it up, fuzzball. I've been watching the uh, Star Wars on TNT. I know they got the rights for like all the movies some there too. They just bought all the rights. And Disney owns Star Wars now too. So we'll get to see what it is. So like, share, subscribe. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel. Let us know, guys. You guys are awesome. And thank you for watching.